Hey everyone, welcome back to my Beach Angel Tarot Shop. I'm here to do my weekly reading for the week of February 10th through the 16th. And happy Valentine's Day to everyone. I'm going to do uh, this week's reading with Mystic Moon Tarot deck and her Oracle deck. This is the Tarot deck. This is the Oracle deck. I will try to remember to put links to these in her shop below. Um, and I'm going to do Romance Angel and I'm going to use... This deck. This is the Lunar Nomad Oracle for those that are wondering. So we're gonna have a lot of cards. We're gonna have a uh, larger, longer reading this week. Let me just pull this to start our energies, focusing on this week ahead. Um, I'm using these, of course, because we are celebrating Valentine's Day in this week's time frame. We have the letter, and the letter is, of course, communication. It's um, you may be hearing from someone, someone may be writing you or texting you or communicating to you in some way, reaching out. Just want to pull another one and see, oh, we got a couple here. Oh, we got the heart and the tower. Wow. I didn't expect three. I'm not going to read all this. Tower in this deck can be something that's been separated, something that's large and kind of um, vast as well. So there could be heartfelt communication from someone you're separated with. Let's just leave it at that. And we have bees going all over the heart here. So um, this is rather interesting visual, isn't it? But the bumblebees on the heart. So the heart is kind of being pollinated there by... Let me just see. Let me just take a peek. I want to see, see more about the tower. To me, though, the tower is talking about something that's like a separation... In, in the in the Lenormand, it's a it's, it's not the same as the tower in the tarot, but it's big and it's looming and it's authority. It says places of power. Secret. Oh, I get it. Okay, <laughs> okay. Some there's heartfelt expression here that has been kept away it's, it's something that is um it says exclusively obscures activities of those dwelling from the night sky secrets so secrets are locked within the walls of this intimidating structure so secrets of the heart that haven't been expressed are locked within this tower. So there could be a revealing of that. There could be somebody that is expressing those secrets, secret feelings. Um, I'm just getting at that. But there could be other things. There could be other heart matters of the heart that are secretive that are coming to you this week or someone's going to express this week. This is definitely representing communication um, this week. But big things that have kept been kept locked away things that haven't been you've been you haven't been able to see there's mystery here there's things that secrets that you haven't you can't see you don't know about there's mysterious energy this also represents um, separation so something that has kept that from you that has been a secret is coming this week or is going to be expressed to you this week in some way shape or form I just want to kind of take a peek. So we have 27, we have 29, and 19 for the people that, oh, 27, 24, and 20, and 19 rather. So let me just, that was the one I wanted to take a peek at because that's what it represents. Things that you can't see within it, something that is looming and secretive. But it's, you know, that you know there's something there that's glaringly obvious, but you can't quite figure it out. You know, it's, you can't miss a tall building. You can't miss a tower, but you don't really see what's happening inside of it, right? Um, in regards to heart, matters of the heart and expression, let's put it that way, are going to come up this week. Which is interesting for Valentine's Day, so spot on. This one talks about love, empathy, emotions, compassion, sweetness, affection, and attachments. 
So any, any things in those areas. So, you know, emotional and, you know, things that somebody hasn't been compassionate, they haven't shown emotion, they haven't shown empathy or love. They've been holding them secret and it's separating. There's no been a, no expression that could come forth this week. Um, secret attachments regarding love can be expressed this week. You know, anything like that can be coming up this week, right? So pretty amazing for our energy. I'm going to put them down here. Um, I'm going to shuffle. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to do the romance. I'm going to throw out the romance angel. This isn't one that I use a whole, whole heck of a lot, but what the romance angels want us to know this week because we're doing the valentine's whoa wow did you see that one pop in children uh your love life is being affected by children now that can be true that can be children but this is also childhood and it gives me the six of cups energy also with the dog on here there's two dogs and a puppy so there's like a family vibe of um loyalty Loyalty and unconditional love. Protecting that puppy. She's like protecting that puppy right there. Childhood. Something that goes way back. There could be... This could come up in many ways. It feels like Six of Cups. It feels nostalgic. It feels inner child. Um, it's talking about unconditional love and loyalties with the dog energy, the puppy, the innocence. She's protecting the innocence of that feeling. Um... In, with her embrace there so apply that as it is to yourself and whatever first pops into your mind with this overall f opening message so very interesting now let's get into the reading so with this the first one's going to be your energy this week what's challenging um what's challenging what's easy what's heating up on the manifesting hot plate for you and what's promised this week and it's obviously got to do with big unseen things, things that have been, you know, it's like the, it almost feels like the pink elephant in the room or the elephant in the room, you know, it's like glaringly obvious, but nobody's saying anything about it. You know, I mean, like what? <laughs> but it could have to do with protecting someone's innocence or protecting a, a, a precious innocent love or being loyal to the such. It was something that was kept back out of that energy. Um, it might not be something. It might not be what you think. Maybe you're thinking something one way and it's not going to be that way. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Understanding grief popped out when I said that. So you're going to understand something that is maybe given you that grief maybe someone has been in grief and you haven't been able to understand what this situation was there's going to be an understanding of this type of feeling that's coming up this week i just want to kind of shuffle until they give me the prompt telling me something with this child card like he's holding on to the adult dog with the leash like he's like I'm taking care of this and she's taking care of that there's like an agreement here of some sort like I'm agreeing with this I'm doing this like there was some sort of an agreement I don't know what this is about if this was a private reading it was I would dwell on that feeling more but I don't know what this could be Like I hear somebody saying I'm adulting you know like I'm adulting you hear that when it means I'm growing up or I'm I'm doing the adult thing or I'm dealing with the adult stuff and I don't know what it's about though Ooh.
something may have been done in secret or held back because they were doing the responsible thing and you may think it's something completely different and I don't know everybody's going to have their own thing right So your energy, for, there's, this reading goes, your energy is the first one. So the message from these two um, decks is destruction and thoughts, decisions, decisions. So again, it's like maybe not knowing, the feeling I got here is like, you may be thinking something is one way. Maybe something, somebody's not revealing something or you can't find that, figure out a mystery of why someone's not sharing their emotions. You may be thinking it's one thing. You may be thinking they're involved in something in a certain way, but you're like kind of maybe it's maybe blowing your mind. Like you can't figure this out. Like what, what is that? What is happening with this? Um, the indecision. There's some sort of indecision. I feel like literally my mind being blown here like I'm thinking it this way I'm thinking it that way and it's just blowing my mind like I'm just kind of like I've thought about it so much it's like self-destructive like I don't like I just blew a cork kind of thinking it this way thinking it that way decisions decisions and you're uncertain should I stay maybe because of this should I go because of this I'm reading this as got to do with love it could be anything in your life you know this could be about a friendship a co-worker a parent um, you're just uncertain because you can't see what's in the walls of this tower. It's like the elephant in the room. It's glaringly obvious, but you don't know what's going on in the inner workings of it. You may be wondering about somebody else's decisions. Like, why are they deciding to do that? Why are they deciding to leave or stay or go or do this or do that? Um, and you don't know because you can't see what's in the inside of this tower. So it's just, um, your energy has been thinking it this way, that way, whatever. So there is a lot of energy going on in regards to decisions for yourself or the decision someone else is making so there's a lot of thought process this way that way two of thoughts is usually somebody with their hands crossed over their chest and they're kind of closed off and closed down so in a way I feel like maybe you thought about this so much you just shut off because the two of swords to me can be a card of like la 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 I don't want to think about it anymore I'm not listening to this anymore I've heard this all before I'm just I'm over it. So there could have been like a kapoom. I'm not dealing with this either. So these can come to you in different ways. So for everybody, it could be a little different. It could be a lot of destructive thoughts going on about not knowing which way to go, not knowing why someone's doing one thing or the other. It can also be that you have just kind of went, reached the breaking point and kind of goes closed off thinking or dealing with the situation as well. So this is all, it could be coming for everybody in a different way. What's challenging you this week is self-discovery. Virgo, this is the hermit and cycles. So what's challenging you is, I think this came up in a, like last week's, it was the hermit card and it was in the steampunk and they were out in the junkyard and that's, that's the feeling it gave me. It was like I was challenged to um, kind of like piece things together. This is saying self-discovery. I want to kind of see what it tells me in its own right. But because of that nine of because of that hermit feeling that, that it brought it back to my mind again. So there could be a little bit of that reading's lingering energy still here. Um, kind of sifting through to figure something out. So I feel like, again, a sense of repetition, the cycles, trying to research something, trying to discover something outside of yourself, perhaps versus spending that time learning about yourself, getting to know yourself. Um, there, it feels like because of the two of swords of decisions, decisions, I'm going this way, I'm going that way. So there could be a challenge of that from within yourself in some way. Um, maybe why did I seek that validation outside of myself when I should have been spending more time getting to know myself on my own? Um, I've you know, been focusing outward where I should have been focusing inward. Um, that could be one of the energies you're finding challenging thinking about that. I feel for some kind of like ruminating about like, wow, I, I really should have just been spending that time discovering who I truly am instead of, you know, figuring this out or seeking outside of myself for some sort of validation. Uh, also, I feel like the, with the cycles, there's something that's you're finding challenging 
doing over and over again. You know, like you've caught yourself in a pattern of trying to figure something out again and again and again. And you're just like, you know what? Kaboom. I, I'm just not anymore. I'm not dealing with that. I'm not thinking about it. I'm not, I'm not making any more effort on that. I'm, you know, turning in a new direction here. So that is the feeling that's coming up as challenging for everyone this week is kind of looking at something that's been going in cycles that hasn't been productive. It's just letting you research and bringing you back to the uh, and the new beginning of researching it all over again, trying to find knowledge, trying to figure something out, because you can see that uh, here from the very beginning. Maybe what was inside of this tower in regards to the situation you were in. I felt, you know, obviously with Valentine's Day, this has got to do with love and relationships. Um, but remember, those things that you can't figure out within someone else is heart and mind, right? As a mirror of what is a, is a discovery within yourself, is a mirror of that with, within yourself as well. So you're finding challenging, what you may be finding challenging as well is connecting those two dots together, like seeing the mirror of what you can't figure out in another or that situation within yourself. You're not make, you're not connecting the dot like, wow, what is that mirroring back to me? I just keep going in circles and I haven't really made any, or it hasn't appeared that I've made any progress. Um, I haven't quite figured this mystery out. There's something there that you haven't kind of quite connected. And again, everybody can come up with that in a little bit of a different way. So um, the next one is what is easy, what you're finding easy this week. And it is night of earth, steady, and metamorphosis. So regardless of all this it feels like it's kind of caught you up or you've, you know, kind of tired of thinking about it. What What is actually easy for you this week is to continue making steady progress forward. You are, regardless of what all this is that you haven't just figured out, you haven't got the information on, you don't know completely the um, answers that you want, you are still steadily moving forward for yourself. And this is very good to see. It's, it's a slow progression. It's a slow movement, but you're slowly coming out of that cycle, maybe starting to see it in a different light. Um, you're moving beyond whatever that was, and you're steadily moving forward into your own um, your own metamorphosis, your own change, right? So definitely, definitely beautiful to, to see that that's coming more easily for you than it may have in the past, where you may have gotten stuck somewhere. You're steadily progressing. You're steadily moving forward. And it's slow and steady wins the race and I'm feeling that's part of it too is to realize that not everything happens overnight right that you're you're coming to an easier realization that steady effort is is going to win the race where before you might have felt like oh my gosh you know I want to be the rabbit I want to get this um instant manifestation I want to do this instantly I want to have that instantly and you're realizing that it's easier for you to realize now that that steady, that steady pace is actually what's going to win you the most beautiful metamorphosis. It's going to turn you into the, the most beautiful butterfly versus the hair type of energy. Okay, so that is another message that's coming forth from what's easy for everyone this week. So what's heating up on the universal manifestation hot plate for everyone this week? And it is, ooh, king of mirrors, king of cups emotional sensitivity and you can see this one in this image is a little bit fragmented so oh recognition i love it and they're both the same color they're both like in the gray you know black and white ish grayish colors um emotional sensitivity and recognizing union or recognizing uh something within another so this can be within your, this can be a few things because we, I feel like a lot of this is kind of going two ways and everybody may be experiencing it two ways as well. Um, this is your own emotional, your own emotions. King of mirrors is king of cups and he's, he's got control of his emotions. He's got control of his sensitivities and recognizing something, um, outside of himself like again that sense of mirror like I said about here and it's kind of like the same colors right it's like that feeling like um what I'm not connecting the dots like uh what what is that mystery mirroring back to me what you know what is it what am I seeing within myself that I'm seeing in this that has got my attention outside of myself not quite seeing it so what's heating up is that recognition within self that's got to do with that sensitivity that's kind of fragmented right that kind of maybe is part of this within your thoughts or your emotional body and it's coming more into focus 
um, that is what I'm getting in a, in a more structured way where you're able to kind of sense it. Also, outside of that, again, the second part of this, what, what is heating up for you is someone else's emotions in regards to you and your connection. Um, and it's coming more into balance. So maybe you're both coming into more of an emotional balance where you can recognize and see each other more clearly um, without that fragmented and distorted patterns or whatever that has been happening back here so that is this is coming as a beautiful energy in either way and it, and everybody could be experiencing it a little bit of both ways so that is a very nice um energy to see that is heating up for us because you know emotional sensitivity can come off as very mysterious and it can cause us to to do or it can cause people to act in ways that can be this way can be disruptive because they don't um you know it can bring up fears it can stir up the undercurrent of fears and so it feels like it's settling it's coming more into form here um in regards to that and allowing allowing it you know there's emotions settling and they're not quite as sensitive and it's allowing that to see each other okay it's allowing each other to come together in a more calm and settled way it's beautiful so what is promised this week something you're going to experience this week and it is five of thought is defeat and I'm getting it in a little bit of a different, I'm getting defeating my, yes, defeating, oh, devotion. Okay, so when I see defeating thoughts, that can also go two ways. So this is kind of like seeing things with a decision, decision. It's seeing it this way, seeing it that way. And, and it's how and how we're seeing things. So it was when I saw that, I didn't see it as my thoughts defeating me. I saw it as me defeating my thoughts, <laughs> okay? Um, fighting those defeating thoughts. You know, defeating the defeat is what is the kind of feeling that I got from that. Overcoming that challenging mind frame that can defeat us before we even get started. That makes us feel like we've lost the game. That makes us feel powerless um, within ourselves or powerless to do anything. So I feel like there's you're going to experience more devotion perhaps within this relationship. Maybe you're going to get your answers. Maybe someone's going to express themselves. Maybe you're going to kind of connect the dots and see what it has been reflecting back to you that's going to enable you to overcome those defeatist thought patterns of the things that challenge us this, this is a very challenging mental um way of being or thinking within yourself within because when i do this reading i like to do it with what you're energetically experiencing and what you're dealing with within yourself um, so it's like seeing it in that way first, but it can even be your devotion to a relationship, your devotion and your love to someone else through a situation that has been mysterious to you that you may have been perceiving one way and it is actually another um, pays off this week. You may be actually experiencing that. You may find out what that was all about that, that you didn't know that you were seeing one way and it was actually another. So it's hard to tell how that will play out energetically, but that devotion to that to that love and to the situation, um, it, you know, is paying off, I feel, this week. Because I felt this in a different way. It's all in how you see it. It's your thoughts can, this can be defeating thoughts or it can be your thoughts, you defeating your thoughts. <laughs> so it's like kind of backward. And I feel, again, that's kind of like a mirror and, and a, a bouncing of the way of seeing something. It's That's what the feeling is. Uh, has been pretty much throughout this reading so it's all about that so you may see that more in your own thoughts and you may be seeing it coming from someone else maybe when you see it a certain way it gets mirrored back to you in another way and you figure the mystery out and the separation disappears hard to tell how this again how it would actually play out but this has been a very very interesting reading um and so yeah i hope everyone has an amazing week and a beautiful valentine's day no matter how it plays out for you or what you're experiencing and i hope it is a beautiful and wonder wonderful day of love for everyone this week and i'm sending everyone angel blessings and oceans of love